Hello and welcome back to Southern Sweden where we are building a big recording studio in this big old Swedish cow barn. It's Wednesday, it's sunny, so sunny, look at my face. So I've been working the last couple of days doing the fabric in the booth, which I think is looking amazing. I realize now it's like sort of like half tone, half tone uh, leopard skin, pink leopard skin, blue, white, and black at the bottom. Uh, man, it looks so good next to the gold. I've left the corners because um, we need to do the heat pump installation. I think that's going to happen next week. So I thought I'd leave those uh, so we might need to change some pipes or something. Elsa, there's Elsa. <laughs> Elsa has been painting upstairs in the hayloft. If I walk up here, there's all the cables, can't wait to start on those. Uh, Elsa's been painting upstairs in the hayloft. Shit, looking totally incredible. Yeah, so it's kind of all systems go now to try and clear this space and paint everything. But uh, what I'm gonna try and do today and tomorrow is starting construction on the, what's gonna be the kind of electronics bench in this place, which is gonna be outside the studio in this old storeroom here, uh, which when I think back to how this looked three and a half years ago, it's pretty mind blowing. This was such a dingy, weird little grotto. Now it's, uh, it's turning into a really cool little room. Uh, so we're gonna paint the walls. Uh, I'm gonna weld up a bench, like a workbench. I've already made the top out of some old floorboards, which were above the kitchen, the cafe in the roof there. So kind of pretty much all recycled stuff. Uh, I'm gonna weld a metal base for it. We're gonna paint this room out. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort this little bit out. I know it looks a bit dodgy right now, but this metal beam is sitting very nicely on this, which is all sitting very nicely on this. So it's pretty good, uh, but there was a gap here. So I've just cut this piece on the bandsaw to fit in there nicely. I'm gonna screw it all in and then I'm gonna kind of shape it with the chainsaw to do a nice sort of, what do they call it? Uh, Doric? <laughs> Gothic? Do no, I don't know. Uh, Ionian, an Ionian cap for this Greek Roman column uh, made out of wood. What am I talking about? Gonna fire up the chainsaw and see if I can shape that piece into something nice. Uh, and then we're gonna transform this room. Okay, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, let's see how we get on. Right, that's how that turned out. Looking pretty nice. I've got all the wires out of the way. So, yeah. This can be painted. Okay, I've dusted off the welder and uh, gonna weld this thing together. Okay, that's the main frame, a bit done. Just got to do another little piece for the end and then, uh, and then I'll put the legs on. Here, I have a couple of 
these things. Bloody sweet. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Now we've just got to paint this wall and uh, screw this thing on and then put the top on. Not bad. I thought I'd just fit it before we paint the wall, just so that all the holes are drilled and everything before we paint it. Uh, I'll just take it to pieces and then we'll paint it and then easily screw it back together. I'm covered in shit. I'm gonna go and jump in the, uh, in the lake. See you tomorrow. Okay, it's Thursday. And in a blaze of inspiration last night, which I'm still not sure about, I cut a big hole in the wall. <laughs> Uh, by the uh, electronics work table because I was just in here and I was thinking man there's this little window up there there's a window there peeping through but it would be kind of cool if if this room felt a bit more sort of open and a bit more like one room it would feel like quite a big space then and I think once this is all organized and uh, I mean this is going to be the shop in the end like the shop of the th of selling the stuff that we make here but yeah this will all be kind of clean and organized at some point it's kind of nice if it's all sort of open is it does it just look like a shop it is a shop <laughs> but does it look like a kind of tuck shop or something amazing what you can do with the saw it doesn't take long just been on the computer here because I want to start laying some of the, some of the cables, uh, the audio cables, in the live room. Uh, and because I am the way that I am, uh, I didn't make a note <laughs> of where anything goes. But luckily, I took some pretty natty drone footage uh, just before we uh, covered the floor with perlite, so I can see where everything goes. And uh, as I said last week. I have Eric's snake here. So yeah, I'm gonna start trying to lay some cables in these conduits, which I think should be okay, as long as there aren't families of mice and hedgehogs living in those pipes now. Okay, so I've got one cable in. This is uh, a 12 channel, so that's gonna be 10 microphone and two headphone. There'll be 24 coming from there which will be 20 mics and four headphones. They'll go to here and then those same 24 will be split between here and over there. Okay, the next lot are down there behind all this stuff. Right, I'm gonna crawl under there. Okay, that one was blocked, but we unblocked it. And when I say we, I mean me and Martin. Martin is here from uh, El Salvador via Copenhagen. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's here helping us for a few days. It's bloody hot today, but it's actually nice and cool in the studio, which means that the uh, insulation's working, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, so now we're going to pull through the big one. It's this 24-way multi-core. I've joined it on there onto Eric's snake. It snakes through there, down into the floor, all the way underneath this room and pops out at the end there. So, uh, yeah, Martin, you're going to pull yeah. down there and I will feed it in down here. How can we film this? Okay, sorry, didn't really film much of this, but we are kind of nearly one coat in on uh, what's going to be the electronics bit of the lab. I uh, need to finish off over there and do something on the ceiling, so there's actually loads more to do. But um, yeah, on Monday I will put the bench back over there and I'll start wiring. So Elsa is here just putting the last brush strokes on these windows. So I fixed this today, which was a big mess. So that's done. So this whole bit there, that's painted through there. This is painted. So yeah, the lab is underway. Next week, I think, is going to be some kind of combination of wiring and building some studio furniture to put patch bays in and stuff. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, this place is, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's a mad place, but it's coming together. So yeah, thank you very much for all of your support. Uh, and uh, I will see you uh, again next week. Until then, look after each other. Lots of love and goodbye. The twins are just marching about. Yeah, goodbye.